welcome to sta academy so today i am here with our new concept at our channel which is the digital classes for the 10th standard topics and these topics will be covered for all the types of syllabus cbsc icsc and ssc so here i am to help you to clarify all your doubts with the topics with also the basics conceptual understanding so today we are going to start with our chapter 1 which is the first topic of our chapter which is the real numbers so here i'll be focusing on the ongoing topic as well as to develop your basic understanding as well so let us start the chapter the real number so first of all it is very important for us to understand what is the meaning of real numbers so when you say when you just read the term numbers here that would be the first thing comes to your mind is that we are going to learn something about numbers yes that absolutely right we are going to learn something about numbers now let us just go back to our previous classes in our previous standards what we have learned about numbers starting from the natural numbers natural numbers we all know that the natural numbers is denoted as the capital n and this set has having all the naturally occurring numbers we also call them as the counting numbers goes on till infinity so when the mathematicians discovered some characteristics which has a similar characteristics for a some set of numbers they have segregated categorized these numbers into the different sets among which the first set of numbers comes as the natural number now what about the second set so once they start discovering about numbers they discovered that even the zero the number zero also exist although it is an imaginary number but zero plays a very important role in mathematics so they discovered a new set of numbers which is whole numbers and we denote this whole numbers as sorry and we denote this whole number as the capital w as i told you that when the zero is discovered including all the natural numbers and zero the whole numbers are discovered till infinity what do you mean by infinity why am i putting these dots here this means infinite or infinity that means up to there is no end like the number of stars in the sky we don't we cannot count these are uncountable that means infinite we just call it as infinity now let us see the next one here now what is the next number now the scientist has discovered the in imaginary like like how they discovered the imaginary number 0 in the same way they thought okay when when the basket is empty that means there are zero fruits in the basket but how about when there are there there has to be some uh, negative number okay so that means uh, suppose if uh, we take away if you want if you want to take away two fruits from the empty basket then what would be the value of the basket suppose the value of the basket is 0 and then we have to take away two fruits from the basket so take away means minus and then two fruits but already there a basket is 0 so whenever you are going to add the fruits whenever you are going to add few fruits to the basket out of those five fruits the basket value is already minus 2 that minus 2 has to be subtracted from 5 resulting the three fruits in the basket 
So this is how they discovered the negative numbers and they thought, okay, there is another set of numbers which is called as the integers, which has the negative numbers, okay? And it is denoted by I or Z. And these sets have all the negative numbers till infinity. and the whole numbers and natural numbers like so this set includes all the natural numbers and the whole numbers and the integers so now what happens next now after discovering this the scientists they thought okay we do have another form of numbers which are neither natural numbers, nor whole numbers, or nor integers. They are expressed in the form of a fractions, right? We already know that what are fractions. They are expressed in the form of a fractions. So what are they? What are they? They are called as the rational numbers. Okay? So now when it comes to rational numbers, let me... Uh, take you to the definition of irrational numbers because this is very important for us to understand what does the rational number. So a number, a number which can be or which is expressed in the form of P by Q where P and Q are integers and Q is not equals to zero. is called as a rational number. Okay, this, I just wanted to keep it very simple. So I have given you the definition of a rational number in my own words so children this is very uh, easy this is very simple keep it very simple don't you don't have to make it very complicated just try to express the concepts in your own words like how if suppose an example comes here a rational number if i just say that uh, i said any integers p and q are integers why i said integers because the rational numbers can be negative or positive doesn't make it suppose i have a rational number two and three. So where, where is, what is P? P is equals to two and Q is equals to three, right? And how about what is the value of Q? Q is not equals to zero. That means two by three is a rational number. Okay, so now this is how we represent and also then when we discovered that the rational numbers, which can be discover, dis, discovered in the fractional form and expressed in the fractional form, where P and Q are integers and Q is not equals to zero, they're also having a terminating and non-terminating rational numbers. In some values, like you can say that when we change, when we convert these rational numbers into the decimal form, we get what we get? Terminating and non-terminating rational numbers. Okay, so this we are going to learn in details what are terminating and non-terminating rational numbers. And this is how we also get another set of number which is called as irrational numbers. Okay, so this is also called as an irrational number. And how do we know that whether the number is an irrational number or a rational number? The difference is that the non-terminating, we in when we see the terminating and non-terminating rational numbers, we have the rational number which is terminating 
and which is non terminating repeating rational number but when we have uh, the recurring we have irrational number which is non terminating non repeating rational number suppose let us take the value of 5 3.14 and it is goes on like this like 15 it goes on like this never ever any of the number gets repeated for the value of pi and the uh, fractional value of pi is 22 over 7 22 by 7 so this is called as a non terminating and also non repeating non repeating which is called as a non repeating irrational number so this is how we just try to find out so we are going to study in more detail about the rational numbers and the irrational numbers and now what is the real numbers now i have explained you about all the numbers about the uh, natural numbers whole numbers rational numbers irrational numbers integers now you might be thinking now what are real numbers okay so what do you mean by real numbers you might be thinking come on can you just put some uh, mind pressure on your mind and you can say that so here <clears throat> we also say that irrational numbers have decimal expansions i told you right so you just have to understand that irrational numbers they have the decimal expansions like this and these are non terminating and non repeating numbers so we always say that every transcendental number is an irrational number like they become neither they ni they neither terminate nor repeat periodically so that is the reason why we just call this set of numbers as the rational number okay so uh, you can give more examples of ir irrational number like root 2 root 3 root 5 then root 7 so these are all are irrational numbers so now after the scientist discovered about all these different types of uh, numbers what happened now here now we have finally got a set of real numbers a set of real numbers which includes all the above numbers okay if i i explain this to you in a diagrammatically real numbers let us take a diagram here all set of if you say uh, i just draw it like this this is first a set of real numbers okay real numbers in and that real numbers comes comes all the irrational numbers then comes then comes all the rational numbers then what then comes all the integers then yes all the whole numbers and then all the natural numbers so the real numbers is the set of all these numbers irrational numbers rational numbers integers natural numbers and the whole numbers so this we represent this real numbers uh, with a symbol r okay and when it comes to the rational and irrational number we represent rational numbers 
with a symbol Q and irrational number as these are the decimal forms of numbers as Q dash. So this is how we just try to represent the different types of numbers. So this was all about our real numbers today. I hope you understood the major main definition meaning of real numbers. And in the next class, we will learn more about the real numbers. We will see what are the different topics, what are the different subtopics we are going to have in our real numbers. And we'll also focus on the important questions as per the examination point of view. And we'll try to solve all the important questions. And we will also try to go in detail about the rational and irrational number, terminating and non-terminating numbers as well as and we will also have to understand about the fundamental theorem as well. So looking forward to see you again in the next class where we will be learning more about real numbers and we will be preparing for our exams by solving few of the important frequently asked questions in our previous examinations of SSC, CBSC and ICSC. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel for regular classes of math last 10. Thank you.